All right, how's it going today, everybody? You know, I thought I'd make this video here because what I think, it, you know, thinking about stuff, all right, when I try to analyze things, now, why is it all of a sudden now it's a problem with all this, uh, with wokeism, okay? Like, I think it got to a point a couple of years ago, was work wokeism doing any good, like, when it comes to, like, politics or sports and that type of thing? OK. This has been going on probably for the last like eight years with uh, things like Trayvon Martin and those guys like Mike Brown and also with Col Colin Kaepernick, where I believe that everybody, a lot of what they call the conscious community, which formed, OK, was trying to bring awareness. And now it seems like, again, that it's a problem. OK. I said that in the corporate world, it gets to a point, I'm thinking, when you make the money that a lot of these guys make, you they have to be very selective about what you say because they want it, they want you, really they pay you to keep your mouth shut or to be very, very articulate, selective. Um, or to handle things more so behind closed, closed doors, especially if you make the money, the type of money that Kanye uh, West makes. But I want to talk about uh, Tiffany Cross here, okay? I think that she was right on that show. Was it One's Gotta Go? Um, I've seen that uh, other show, I guess is what they called it, the crossover. Somebody gave me the right name, and I, I've seen that show through... Uh, through YouTube. Why this guy got to play this music? Why? All right, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, let's get back to the video. All right. I think that dude's annoying, okay? I want to talk about, like, again, Tiffany Cross. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. That I was peeking on her show uh, about certain things where she bring out maybe, uh, I don't know, these uh, issues, like, in the black community and that type of thing in Compton. I don't know, certain elements, maybe to, uh, to make uh, black people as... I don't know, as a as a, as a, uh, a whole collective unit, better. Now again, she was on this show. One's got to go, and actually, I I just realized that she. Now I'm gonna go back outside again. Miss Cross had made those uh, statements about Tua. What's that? Tua Tua a uh, logger, the guy that plays for Miami about the, um, you know, that, that concussion that he, that he suffered. All right. I'm at the car wash, so it's a little loud here. And I'm now realizing that it's her about protecting like black bodies. And I guess long story short, this video or, uh, or the, the comments that she made on that one gotta go where she said called DeSantis the stupid the I guess it was like a law number four that they passed to let convicted felons uh, vote which I don't agree with but it depends on what you get convicted for okay for serious stuff but I think what, what messed her up was she got a little bit political was saying that it was like black and brown people, okay? And it wasn't just black and brown people. You see, sometimes I think there's a way to say things without getting too political or too, like, crass. All right? So she could be a little political and crass at the same time. And if you rub these people at the wrong way, at the wrong time, if they feel that you're a characterist, they're going to get rid of you. Now, this woman has had that cross show, all right? cross-connection. Now I'm thinking that's what it is. 
for two years. So why would they let her, okay, a nice looking black woman, you're okay with sexual, uh, maybe with a sexual prowess. And she wears a lot of green too, a lot of green with pink. I think she's AKA too. All right. Let her go on this rant for like two years. And I think it was a ploy to probably to get black people on that, uh, to look at that show, although probably is primarily white. And then all of a sudden, they want to, you know, they want to let her go. All right. Well, NBC, MSNBC is looking at making cutbacks and so forth. OK, that they let her go. And the rest of those guys that is on that show gets to stay. So I believe, again, you have to uh, that this was a business uh, power move. These are business moves. So from a corporate or from a business mindset, you you want to think a little bit deeper. You always follow the money. Okay? Always follow the money. Um, but it seems like the user, all right, brought brought to her to the for, for, forefront, got what they wanted out of her, and then all of a sudden, okay, they, they cut her over something that really she's been doing. Now, what, what I'll say is this. As a professional, you can get to where that you may think that you're so good and the show, I understand, that show was like the top show of the weekend. All right? I heard the show was all right. It was, I don't know. There was really no other show that was better, this and that. But you can get to where that you can get sloppy with your tongue. Okay? You get lax. All right? And you you lose your, uh, how can I say, your uh, art articulative matters. It happens to me. And I think when I, for me, I, when I see myself getting that way, I try to pull myself back. And, you know, I think it comes with age and experience. You just try to stay that way. All right. Now, that might have been partially her. All right. But I think that she was used as a pawn. OK. And they got what they wanted out of her and and they fired her. OK. Why? Probably because they want to put somebody else. All right. In that spot. And it also goes to show how women are used through, uh, throughout the news. Have you seen that many men are way more expendable than men, uh, women are? Okay? So, I can see through all that. All right? So, revolutionary, that's one thing. But I think when it comes to the corporate world, again, that it's one of the things, I guess now, if they feel that you're a characterist, you're out of you're out of there, okay. Um, but it's funny why that a lot of these news pundits and so forth are waiting until now, okay. Um, I guess people are just going to have to try to find a different way to get their point across, all right. And through uh, this lady Tiffany Cross, they made an example out of her. But let me know what you think about the video here. I don't want to talk too long. Plus, I got to get on the road and take care of some things. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Cash app, dollar sign, Winston's 5 if you want to donate.